<laughs> but uh so this is my older pc i'm actually gonna go turn the light on really quick <laughs> or well, let's try this okay so this is my older pc this is a uh, 15 year old uh compact so single core processor nothing fast 433 ddr ram um, and not like DDR2 or DDR3, DDR RAM. <laughs> um, and I have Lubuntu 14.4 installed on this. This is actually the first machine I ever installed Linux on. And I just kind of left it there. I didn't understand that, that upgrading wasn't going to mess everything up. Uh, that sometimes you have to get faster <laughs> as time goes on in the Linux ROM. It's kind of crazy. Uh, but I am... You know, I, I actually, uh, I ins loaded up a uh, Lubuntu stick on this the other day. I wasn't really surprised. It was 2010, and uh, it was really kind of snappy. So today I'm running a live USB of Fedora, uh, and we're going to see how well Fedora does on a machine of this caliber. All right, so here we are on the LXQT desktop, and I mean... Honestly, like it's pretty responsive, right? So, I mean, and it's also, I mean, you might notice that the reason that Fedora is so quick is because it comes with practically nothing. There's basically nothing in here. Um, it gives you a basic browser, base some very basic stuff. Um, so you can see I've already been in here, so that's why it was cached and it was able to open so quickly, but that's still the quickest I've ever had a browser open on this computer. This is Falcon, so it has its downfalls. Falcon can't necessarily accomplish um, the same feats, mostly because of the Google restrictions, but overall, I mean, it's a nice, quick, responsive browser, I'm and the fact that this played and played so quickly is insane to me because this computer has a lot of problems playing video um it doesn't have the power to play video very well this is about the largest you're going to be able to get out of it and that's okay i mean honestly this thing is not meant for doing video it's really meant for doing more production work. But it can play video. It plays video a lot better and a lot smoother under this. Uh, and in fact, I actually have overhead here. Let me see if I can open up top. So, ah, nope, wrong, wrong keyboard here. Let's open up top. Okay, so you can see I have some idle, oh, there we go, I got some idle space here. Now in Lubuntu, I oftentimes would run into a situation where I had zero, um, yeah, this, this would happen a lot more. Uh, because there's too much going on with Xorg. Um, and Xorg itself can sometimes take as much as, as like 15 to 20% of my CPU usage on a single core. I only have that, a single core, so. Um, but here you can see that it's playing the video and still catches some uh, idle space, so that's nice. And you know, video playback's not gonna be the smoothest, but it's video playback. I mean, the sirens are blaring. So let's go over. Let's try. Let's try something a little bit more intensive. Let's try YouTube. Oh no! Again, I'm using the wrong keyboard here. So let's go to YouTube. Ugh. There we go. Just suggest it. Suggest it for me. Thank you. And, you know, websites don't load the quickest, but they do load, and it's not like 56k speeds. It's it's more like if you were running DSL or something. Uh, here we go. But, I mean, this is a relatively heavy website. Um, it might be cached. I think I did check it out earlier. Uh, so that, that could be a cache that makes it open as quickly as it did there but you know I mean if it caches once and you're fine so let's try let's try the problems with Kickstarter let's see what let's see what Linus has to say about Kickstarter so you'll notice I, I minimize this window and I kind of have to do that to play video back because like I was saying video does not 
play well here. And so you have to play it small for it to, to work. So you can see, I'm gonna kinda come in on this. That's not bad. That's not bad, it's happening. Um, I mean, it's probably skipping, let's, let's check, let's check here. Um, That's for nerds. So it's probably dropping about a frame a second. Yeah. Until it catches up on itself, maybe? Or is it just going to keep dropping a frame a second? Yeah, and I think actually, I, I don't think it handles... Uh, Yeah, and so I guess I think what well, we're at, we're at, oh, and this is at 480p, or this is at 360. Let's see. Oh, that'll take a second. <laughs> let's go to settings. Ah, okay, 360p. Well, let's actually turn off annotations, too, because that, that surprisingly takes up a lot of, a lot of juice here. Um... I don't have sound on because uh, I don't have it connected to my speaker, but sound does work out of the box. Fedora is great for that. Fedora is like one of... It, it just has some of the best hardware support. I, I switched it over my netbook because it's the only distribution that I am aware of that has full, out of the box, no bullshit... Uh, like uh works with 32-bit uefi 64-bit architecture and that is just so important to me i mean <laughs> there's plenty of these netbooks out here that that don't that that, that need that to function and, and frankly making me do that myself is just like <laughs> it's ridiculous i mean how are people going to learn on a netbook if they have to learn all of linux <laughs> before they even get into it you know it's just it's just wild yeah, so you can see this is this is playing video and it's playing video pretty reasonably. Um, I probably should record a little bit of time on the Ubuntu desktop too, just to show you the difference or, or what you know that that this makes. So let's see, let's close this out right now that we've seen that the internet works. Um, and yeah, so I mean it's sitting and this is a live this is live, right? A live USB is sitting in 593 megabytes of used RAM. Not bad. I think actually I don't think I have four. I think I have three and a half because <laughs> one of the sticks I bought, you know, I bought cheap sticks that the, they shipped over, and um, one of them died on me pretty fast. So I just tossed the other half, one of the half sticks I had in there, just to give myself that little extra extra bit of boost. Um, but yeah, not so not bad, not bad. Um, let us do a quick, Neo fetch here, and you can see it's going to take a second, but we are running the latest Fedora 33, so, um, I've had this up for a second now. And I'm actually going to take it on over because I prefer i3, and I can't wait for the i3 spin to come out, but if you toss i3 on here, oh my god, it's even smoother. I think I was getting 480p to play back, <laughs> and that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a feat for this computer. Playing 480p videos is, is a wild feat. So I'm going to jump over and show you some of that. Yeah, and here we are on the desktop for uh, with i3 on it. Um, and... It's definitely, I mean, it, with the video playing sitting in only 670 megabytes of RAM, uh, and then again, this is also a live ISO, so I do believe that that'll sit in even more RAM than usual. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's just quick. It's snappy. And uh, it definitely, I think, makes for better network connections. I think I get faster speeds faster uh internet speeds with this computer with with my little netbook too as well uh so fedora is quickly becoming my light distro of choice because you know there's lots of light distros out there but none of them come with the same kind of hardware support uh as as fedora seems to come with uh so yeah this is this is i uh, this kind of like so i'll just finish it off here but this is what you can do with old hardware.
like really old hardware. Like, I mean, like unreasonably old hardware. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully you enjoy. Take care and see you next time.